like for example krishna says that there is that well known verse apichet sudracharo bhajite mamananyam sadureva samantavya samyag vyavasito hi sa krishna says even if somebody is doing terrible activities still such a person is to be considered saintly now this verse has been elaborately commented by various acharyas and the our commentaries range from very liberal commentaries to quite conservative commentaries so and i'll i'll go over those commentaries briefly over here but the key point over here is this is all the acharyas agree that this is not a license for a person to continue doing wrong doings so krishna accepts everyone that so that is there is no action that anyone can ever do that can make krishna say that i am fed up with you i am done with you no i just quit your heart and go away get lost <laughs> hmm? krishna will always be there as a super soul in every single soul's heart so krishna accepts everyone so accepting means no action can no action done by us can take us so far away from krishna that he can't reach us that krishna has unlimited the long arms that that we may do wrong but still krishna can still reach us but at the same time not approving means our actions do change the distance between us and krishna some actions closes to or take us closer to him and some actions take us further from him so this our actions are important krishna still loves us but the actions that we do do they matter of course are are any actions fatal you have done this now krishna will never care for you that never happens that is a typical strategy used by religions to to manipulate people through fear if you do this god will be angry with you and god will condemn you yeah god can be displeased with us but god never condemns us condemns us in the sense that reject somebody permanently that is not there so in fact god's displeasure does some can god be displeased with us yes you know if we do some wrong activities god will be displeased with us but god's displeasure it's this is a key point to understand god's displeasure is the what is the reason for god's displeasure it is not because now his absence of love it is in fact because of the presence of love it is because he loves us and because he cares for us that's why he is upset that's why he is displeased uh, there are so many people in the world doing so many wrong things we don't care much for it but if somebody some, some friend some our child some guide some person whom we are guiding there somebody close to us does something wrong we are concerned what were you thinking why did you do that so krishna's krishna's displeasure is actually a sign of his love and we have this amazing past time when uh, chaitanya mahapuru is uh, upset in one sense where nityanand prabhu is upset with shivanand sen nityanand prabhu kick shivanand sen and shivanand sen is happy with the kick he says this is the proof that you have accepted me as your servant that the obelis of your kick they will feel humiliated how dare you kick me but he saw it as a sign of love now of course that doesn't mean we go about kicking people and say that this is a sign of my love for you <laughs> now that is a extraordinary situation there is such a deep relationship that shivanan that so that is a sign of shivanan saints that is to demonstrate shivanan saints faith in the lord that is not nityanand prabhu is avdhut nityanand prabhu is not the model of how to express love to others at least not all the time with jagai mata yes not with shivanan saint but anyway the point here is that krishna accepts everyone that does not mean he approves of everything 